Okay, now we're just gonna let those sit. And now we're going to heat our cream. And you want about half of a cup. We just want this about body temperature. It's about 100 degrees. I'm just gonna let that heat till it's warm. That feels about right. So now we're going to add the rest of our cream. A third a cup of sugar. And a pinch of salt. And we're going to whisk this together. Okay, now let's heat it up. We're going to heat this and we're going to use the whisk until the sugar and the salt crystals are dissolved and then we're going to switch to a spatula that way we can scrape all the sides and make sure nothing burns or everything just comes combined. Sugar fills just about dissolved, so I'm gonna switch to a spatula. Make sure we go around and scrape the bottom so we get nice, even cooking. I'm gonna let this come to a boil and then we're gonna reduce it and let it simmer for about five minutes. Okay, so it's boiling, so we're going to turn down the heat and just let it simmer for about five minutes. been 10 minutes and this gelatin should have bloomed by now so we're gonna whisk it and try and get the rest of the gelatin to dissolve and be able to incorporate it. Just kind of break it up with the whisk. That looks pretty good. Don't worry about any lumps. The heat from the cream, sugar, and salt will be able to melt the gelatin and it'll incorporate fully. Take this 
this off the heat and then just whisk until the gelatin is mixed in. Now we're going to add our lavender and we're just going to pour that in. It's about a teaspoon. We're going to stir it in and now we're going to let it steep for about 10 minutes. All right. Okay, this has been steeping for about 10 minutes and we're going to strain it now. And the reason we're going to strain it is to get all these pieces of lavender out and any, uh, any chunks of cream that may have gotten a little overcooked that were clinging to the side, that'll strain it out as well and it'll give it a more velvety smooth texture. Now they just need to sit at room temperature, and then once they reach room temperature, we'll go ahead and put them in the fridge. to submerge it in boiling water. So we some hot water here. Okay, so here we have some boiling water. What we're gonna do is gonna submerge it in the boiling water. Do it for the count of three. So one, two, three. Now I'm gonna wet my finger. side and gently pull the panna cotta away from the side and loosen the edges. Now we're going to submerge it again. And again for the count of three. One, two, all right, now we're going to invert it onto the hand, all right? So just kind of gently shake it until it falls. There we go. 